Hi, hello. This is a very quickly thrown together scuff tutorial on how you can install Linux Mint with an RX 6000 series graphics card present on your system, as well as installing the respective firmware needed for the graphics card to run properly. Now, usually this process is not really that involved with other graphics cards, as usually the Linux kernel by default supports the graphics card out of the box, so it should just run without any further user intervention. But because Linux Mint unfortunately uses a kernel that doesn't support the RX 6000 graphics card out of the box, unfortunately you're going to be presented with this message. So before you proceed any further in this tutorial, please make sure that you install the Edge version of Cinnamon because there are multiple versions that you can install and the Edge version of Cinnamon of whatever version that you're wanting to use here by default uses the 5.13 kernel while this uses 5.4 from what I understand which doesn't support the RX 6000 series graphics card. And yeah, installing Edge for Bleeding edge hardware is recommended anyways. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to go through the installation process really quickly and then we're going to come back into the Linux environment and I'm going to show you how to install the firmware for it. Alright, so once you're booted in from your USB, you're going to want to use compatibility mode if you have an RX 6000 series graphics card. Things are going to look a little bit technical and weird. But trust me, it's going to be the only way you're going to be able to actually boot successfully into the installer. Once you successfully boot into the live environment, you can just install Linux Mint as normal. And you can run through the installation process, and then I will show you what to do once Linux is installed. So once Linux Mint is installed, you'll be brought to a different grub menu, but this time you'll see that the compatibility mode is taken away from you. So this time around, you're going to want to hit E instead of actually booting in, and you're going to be presented with this. So, using your arrow keys, navigate over to the quiet splash. Replace it with no mode set. And then hit F10. And that will let you boot into your installation. Alright, now that you're successfully booted into your Linux environment, you're now going to notice that it's going to ask you to check for video drivers. There's going to, it's going to produce nothing because you have an AMD card and there's not really anything that you can really do against it. So, <laughs> okay, let me word that a little bit differently. So once you successfully boot into your Linux Mint installation, you're going to get this prompt and you're not going to be able to install AMD drivers from here as that doesn't exist. However, you're going to install firmware from this Git page here, and you're going to click on whichever one is the most current. You just want to click on it, and then save file, and then it'll be done in no time. Well, depending on how fast the internet speed is. So once it finishes downloading, you can just open it, hit extract, extract it wherever the hell you want to, hit show the files, and now this is where things get fun. So now that you have all this nonsense here, you're going to want to open up a terminal within here to save yourself a lot of time. Now there's going to be two commands of which that I'm going to leave posted in the description. And it's these two commands here. You're going to want to copy and paste them one at a time. And put your password. And then once that completes, you're just going to copy in the second command. And then let it and let it do its thing. And then in about a few moments or whatever, you will see a bunch of really vague prompts that produce a bunch of output that you probably don't really know what it says or means. But trust me, it's firmware. And then once it finishes, congratulations. You can now reboot your system and hopefully this message will be gone. Yes. And now when you successfully boot, you shouldn't have to input the command anymore. It should instead just go as intended. And as you can see, the message is gone, and now, theoretically, everything should work as intended. Now, if just so happened that the firmware 
isn't supported on your graphics card, well, God help you. <laughs> Have fun finding another tutorial, but otherwise, hopefully this information is helpful to somebody out there, because I definitely would have loved to know this information when I installed Linux Mint for the first time and I was given the notion that AMD graphics cards are perfect and they don't require any sort of like work to get them to function properly. So anyways, this tutorial helps. Maybe give it to somebody who needs it, maybe. Elsewise, have yourself a good 